This is not an astrophotography channel. Hi, my name's Riz and welcome to my channel. Uh, so, as mentioned in my last uh, Instagram slash Facebook post, um, the Great Conjunction's happening now, um, ish. It's actually happening in two days. But um, the, it looks like the weather's going to be pretty crap in on Monday. So um, I'm kind of just trying to get the most out of it this weekend. Uh, at the moment, there are loads of clouds on the horizon. There's a nice empty space right above me. Uh, but the uh, the Jupiter and Saturn the way down there. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to set up um, anyway. And hopefully the sky clears and I can get some kind of view of them. Uh. Okay, so I'm set up ish. Just going to need to get the laptop out. Um, I got a glimpse of it. And then all of this cloud started coming in. So. Just gonna weigh it out for a bit. It is a bit windy as well, so we'll see how things go tonight. If it doesn't happen tonight, it'll happen tomorrow. So you know, well, <laughs> hopefully it'll happen tomorrow. Oh dear. Uh, I've just wrapped everything up in plastic bags for now um, because that does not look like it's going away. Twenty minutes later. So yeah, uh, the cloud went. It pissed it down, and there it is. So with naked eye, you can see them, they're very close. Um, so I'm gonna just do this visually for now, and see how, how far I get, because uh, I think there's more clouds coming in. All right, does that work? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, we are recording. So, I, I think I tried putting the camera over the eyepiece, and it didn't really work, but, um, it's fine. Uh, I did see it. Saw Saturn and Jupiter in the same frame. Um, saw the rings of Saturn and a few of the moons of Jupiter. So it was really cool. Um, just clouds over it again. Um, so I'm just playing around. I'm going to see if I can get some uh, decent uh, footage of Mars. Um, also testing out a uh, atmospheric dispersion corrector. So that might give some pretty good um, pictures of Mars. But yeah, just playing around a bit really. Um, we'll see if the clouds disperse, but I doubt it. But hopefully tomorrow will be better. Exciting stuff. This is a uh, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity. So yeah, happy days. <laughs> okay, so stay two. Um, I'm kind of halfway through setting up, but I thought I'd just quickly update. Uh, we're having a very similar problem to yesterday. sucks but um, you know the forecast for this evening is supposed to be better than yesterday evening so I'm hoping that will pass by the time you know sunsets finished and all that fingers crossed um, I took some pictures of Mars last night I'll put one here um, not great I know Mars is quite difficult on it to photograph anyway but um, I'm getting very little detail out of this setup uh, I don't know if it's just I don't know I don't know what it is um, I, I know that so this 8 inch um, Schmidt Cassegrain um, it is 2000 millimeters um, and then you know with the Barlow it's 4000 so I don't know if it's got something to, uh, you know, I feel like the magnification should be good enough. Um, I know that pe I've seen people do better with less magnification. Um, last time I checked it, the collimation was great as well. But yeah, I don't know if anyone's got any ideas like in the comments section, that'd be great. It might just be old glass. I don't know, like, you know, has, um, has telescope design advanced that much in the last 20 years I, or 25 years I suspect it might have but um, yeah I'm really not sure if you can hear music 
in the background. Uh, I think that's one of the neighbours has Christmas music on. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll get this finished, set up, and uh, hopefully by then, like the clouds have been passed. It's supposed to be like 33% cloud cover uh, between five and six, which will be like prime time. Um, by about quarter past six, it's behind um, any reasonable horizon, so yeah. So, this is attempt number three. <laughs> attempt number two was a total fail, um, but the weather tonight should be pretty good. Um, after five-ish, it should be pretty much crystal clear skies. So, today, although the actual um, great conjunction has passed, um, I've been doing some calculations on Stellarium, and we should be good. I should be able to get everything in one frame. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just setting up. It's currently 25 past three. Sunset is at four. And then I should see Saturn and Jupiter somewhere in the distance. So yeah. A few moments later. So, so I'm all set up. Um, um, I'm just waiting for the moon to go past a tree in the garden so that I can um, calibrate it between you know, the finder scope and the main scope. And then that will make Jupiter and Saturn much easier to get into view um, once they come out. It is currently what's that? Uh, three forty-one. So uh, about twenty minutes until sunset, and they should pop up quite quickly after that. And yeah, um, clouds look like they're slowly passing. I'm really hoping they stay like that. Uh, just for reference. It is Christmas Eve. So, the Great Conjunction was on Monday. It's now Thursday. Um, I believe they're still pretty close. Um, like I said earlier, I've already gone through Stellarium. They're still within you know, a degree or two. I don't know the exact figures, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, did some rough calculations. So I've got the Field of View calculator um, from Astro uh, Astronomy Tools, and then I punched that into Stellarium to figure out how, how I can frame it. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, it's not, you know, technically a great conjunction picture because it's not them at their closest, but still it'll be pretty cool. Um, and it means I don't have to wait another 20 years. So yeah, happy days. Anyway, um, I'll stop blabbering and uh, have a look, see if the moon's out. Um, so I just want to quickly give you a rundown on what I've put on here. Um, just gonna focus, there we go. So this um, telescope is a 2000 millimeter telescope. Um, it would be a bit too long for what I want to do, unless I was using a DSLR. Uh, but the problem with using a DSLR, is, unless it's you know 4K one, um, which mine isn't, um, is you'd be limited by the video resolution. So what I've done with this is uh, put a reducer slash field flattener on. So this makes it uh, f6.3, a thousand millimeters. Um, and then I've got some, I've got a corrector here. So this is an atmospheric distortion corrector. And then the camera. 
um, and I'm hoping, assuming what I put into Stellarium is right, uh, that this corrector here, or sorry, this field flattener here, um, it will make everything fit in the field of view. That's my hope. Just uh, currently waiting for sunset to finish, really. Uh, there you go. All right. Um, it's getting, well, it's quite chilly today. So the telescope's already been out for a couple of hours, so it should be acclimatized. I'm not actually sure it's visible in this video, but it is. It's, Jupiter has just started shining. I keep on losing it by eye. I can see them. Uh, let me just get the controller. For some reason, my laptop's not connecting to the uh, ASCOM drivers, but there it is. So let's do a switch, shall we? There you go. Oops. Saturn, bottom right. Jupiter, top left. Uh, Happy days. No, I'm gonna get recording before I lose this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do two exposures though, because otherwise, um, yeah, Jupiter's gonna be blown out. I might try to get some of the moons in too. 